Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. I've been up since four, thinking. Yeah, it's the nature of the beast. Mostly I've been thinking about just the level of unkindness in this world and it's been bothering me some. So I'm just gonna ask you, if you're watching me, be nice today. Be nice to someone. If you see somebody not being nice to someone else, stop it explain to them how that serves zero purpose in this world. I feel like the entire world needs a Valium or Lithium. Anyway, it's the, my second day working. It is the third day of the sale. And I'm going to give my upstairs booth some love. I've got a whole bin that I'm bringing up there because it's just not good. I don't even think I priced that table. I was sitting there last night thinking about, see what I mean? I've been awake thinking. I don't think I priced the table in there. I think that booth was like unfinished. Kathleen, did you try and tell me that I had unfinished that booth? And you were like, when did you finish your booth? And I said, no, remember, I finished it. I didn't. You could have you commented back, no, you didn't. And then I would have gone, I didn't. I didn't. And I really feel like that booth is empty, which doesn't serve a purpose for me. It can't be empty. It needs to be full of stuff because that's the main house and a lot of people won't go into the second building. So in order to make sure my profits stay up, I brought this blue bin back here is full. It's chock full of stuff to slide into that booth. All pumpkin-y, all, all that good stuff. I mean, we'll still check the, the second booth, the, the main booth, the big booth, to see what's sold there and try and love it up. But Ultimately, I need to get a bunch of stuff into that small booth because I went up there yesterday and I'm looking around and I'm like, it's really empty in here. It's what it felt was really empty. So I'm going to give it some love. <sighs> it's a mess carrying that thing up by stairs usually. That big bin was heavy. Something is old here. The head doesn't belong there. But it's a hot mess. Let's fix it. All filled in with pumpkin spice and everything nice. Someone paid me $12 for the moss balls that were in there that I paid $3 for and left the basket. Sold art and then a base. And that's all I really see in here. So we're gonna just love it up a little bit. Okay, efforts were made. Y'all, the passive aggressiveness. Um, I got there at 7.30 this morning. There was no one in the parking lot. So I kind of just half-ass parked. Just, just what happened. 
Well, by the time I left, and all these people pulling in, and the comments behind your back, right? Like, I don't know what's going on in that parking lot out there, but people are parking every which way. It's like, to the passive-aggressive crowd, if that makes you feel better, I mean, use your best judgment on how you want to handle that situation. I'm going to handle it by handling my business. You guys can all cope. You weren't here at 730. Took me longer than I thought to get my stuff in order today. So cope. Take your meds. Take your meds, y'all. Oh my gosh. Most of the time, I'm not even there at this point. You know, I'm done. And today, I... Yeah, maybe I should have thought a little better about it, but I didn't. And you know what? I'm not apologizing. For right now, it's 9.30. We open at 10. I'm in pain. I'm going to sit here and rest because I'm floating for the first half of my day, which means I'm going to be on my leg all morning. So I'm going to take it and take it easy. I'll sit here and rest for 15 to 20 minutes. Y'all, your girl is in pain. Oh, y'all. In pain. My hip is just like not having it. I'm going to need to call a doctor. I gotta get an appointment for next week. I can't do it this week. I gotta get an appointment for next week. Something's wrong. Because I've been on steroids for like two weeks and it still hurts. <laughs> oh my goodness sake. Great day at the shop. I gotta say, our customers are so much fun. They're so amazing. No one comes to pick a fence gals in a bad mood. <laughs> they come in a good mood. They're ready to shop. They're having fun with their friends. They're enjoying themselves. And it just is so much, it's such a blessing to be there with them. And they were having a good, everybody, everybody was having a good time and they were shopping. You guys, we sold so many pumpkins. I have to restock. That big centerpiece went on the block. That's gone. That was $35. The boxwood wreath, that went. That's gone. My big pillow, that big ticking pillow that I've had in there forever, and I put it out on the porch this month, that's gone. And that woman goes, oh, well, you know, I've been looking for one of these for a while. I'm like, you come every month and you didn't see it? She didn't see it. On the chair. I stuck it out on the porch and boom, it's gone. I'm like, okie dokie. Glad it's gone. I don't deal with that no more. Okay, and I'm gonna go home and try and price up some stuff because I'm gonna have to go back tonight and I'm I'm in screaming agony. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Gotta be done. Drugs. We need drugs, y'all. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com for more tips tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course more junkin videos.